In the last episode, I talked about the very old Chinese model of five elements, wood, fire, earth, metal, water. And it, there's a number of places where we've used that in a very practical way to solve real business problems. One of the more interesting ones is what we might call time perspectives. Each different part of the organisation not only has different views onto the organisation, but often also has completely different views about time and what time scales are, what happens. Well, this is a real workshop we did with a, with a large bank, in fact, to get them to understand the, the role of strategy and how it fed down into, into work and then the continual relearning from that process. What we did was we split it up into five time frames that matched very well with Chinese five elements. The first of these, are the wood, if you like, the springing up, is all about the future, particularly the far future. Then there's fire, which is very much about people time. People have, can shift at random from far future to far past and back again. It's one of the things that connects all the different time perspectives together. Then there's planning, or the, the earth, the settling down, as we saw last time about scheduling. This is about the near future, about things that are going to happen quite soon, but are not happening now. Then we've got metal or stone. What's happening now? What's happening now, now, now? Always in capital letters, always with an exclamation mark. Now! And finally, there's the kind of review, the settling out, the things dissolving, coming apart, looking at the past. And what we did was, a, was an exercise, a workshop exercise, which you might like to do yourself. Split up a group into five subgroups. You need about 20, 25 people for this. You can do it with more, but not much less than about 20. For each of these groups, one of them is strategy, another is HR, another is planning or management, if you like, the kind of scheduling of stuff. There's the production people. And finally, there's the review, the now, the, the accounts, the, the follow up, the, all those kind of areas about you should have, right? So the strategy people, well, with each of these groups, we want them to be, to describe each of the other groups and notice how, be allow people to be rude and notice what, how it comes up. So for example, the strategy people will say, well, the HR people are crazy, but at least they sometimes understand what the hell we're on about. The near future, yeah, they just don't have, they, they're sort of like us, but they just don't have a grasp of how things are working. Production are mad. They don't understand the future at all. They're only focused on now. Uh, the past, well, if they understood how they worked with us, then it might work, but they've got a completely different perspective, always looking backward. Then we've got, say, the, the HR people who are busy being rude about everyone else. We've got the, the managers saying that the, the, um, the strategy people are just idea hamsters. They've got no idea how things happen in the real world. The, the HR are crazy, but occasionally they give us people that can be useful. The, the production people, they're all, you know, again, they're all crazy. Everyone else is crazy because they don't hold the same perspectives as us. The trick here is now you tell everyone, now move round one. And notice how, what the first thing that comes up and take on, sorry, take on the descriptions that they've been given about everyone else. And the first thing that comes up is, that's really unfair. We're just doing our jobs. So one of the things that comes up out of this is a sudden realization of just how much the different perspectives arise from the nature of the work itself. And hence, most of these clashes aren't people just being awkward or doing things to be awkward. They're trying to do their work as best they can, which clashes with us. But everyone has to be, be, be working together as a whole in order for this to work. So one of the things that happens that comes up out of this is, first of all, what happens if just one group dominates? You end up losing all the other time perspectives and everything that is needed for that. And the other thing that happens is finally someone says, who's holding the center? Who's keeping the balance? And the answer in too many cases is no one. And that's why you need someone to do this with us. So having got all of this information, about the clashes are natural, that there needs to be someone to hold the centre, to hold the balance, that all of these time perspectives are needed to get things right. 
then the next thing we can do is start discussing what we can each do to reduce those clashes and respect that everyone's perspective is correct from their own view, even if it isn't so for ours. Thanks for watching. Do look at the YouTube description for links to further detail. And don't forget to subscribe for other videos and also to support us on Patreon to help us produce these videos and the tools themselves.